So we're here at Lake Meredith National Recreation Area. It's in the northern Panhandle region of Texas, about 35 minutes from Amarillo. And this lake lies in the Canadian River Valley in a rugged prairie landscape. Quite a large lake here, right next door to Alabates National Monument. And so there are several campgrounds around this lake and entrance and camping all free. You just pull up, find a spot you like and camp. One of the most easily accessible parks in the state and if the campground's full at Palo Duro Canyon, just come out here. Plenty available. So today we're here in Ali Bates National Monument. And this is the location of ancient excavation sites for the highly valued flint used by Native Americans 500 to 1,000 years ago to make various types of tools used to survive out here. This flint was highly prized and traded with other groups of Native Americans. This flint was found pretty far away from here in states like New Mexico. So clearly traded and used elsewhere. And so we're gonna explore these excavation sites and see some great examples of this colorful flint. And so as you walk along here, you can see this is kind of a rugged prairie landscape. And this landscape is preserved in part due to the a weathering resistant dolomite layer at the top. And so this is a little side canyon that feeds into the Canadian River Valley below. So there you see the Permian red rocks exposed in the hillside there. And up at the top, you can make out some lighter colored boulders. Those have weathered and tumbled down from that resistant dolomite layer at the top of the hill. So these are the steps that you have to walk up along the tour. And if you pay close attention, you'll see some Alley Bates Flint. And so here's what it looks like. Kind of white, pink, red sort of color. So further along the trail, you see these boulders, mostly composed of Alley Bates Flint. So right in front of you there, you see this little depression here. This was actually a flint excavation site, somewhere between 500 and 1,000 years old. And at one time they estimate that it was about five feet deep. It's partially filled in with some sediment, but very clearly you can see it.
so when you're out here trying to survive in a place like this, you have to make use of the resources that are here. They learn to use yucca plants, cactus, and others uh, for their survival. The people out here had to be tough, strong, and hardworking in order to make it out here because this is a semi-arid region. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. It's a female collared lizard. I can't believe she's letting me get this close. Amazing. She's a beauty. Bye bye, beautiful.